One of the creative Google Docs applications is Google Drawings. With Drawings, you can create sketches, maps, diagrams, and other artistic creations. Once you add elements such as lines and shapes, you can begin labeling them with text, and then format that text as you see fit by applying different font sizes and colors, as well as bold and italic formatting. You have been working on a drawing that is a diagram for the landscape design in your new backyard. Now you want to add text to the diagram. There are several shapes in this drawing that represent various elements in the landscape design. However, it's not necessarily obvious what some of these shapes are supposed to be. We'll add labels to the shapes to make them easier for people to understand. There is a circular shape in the lower right that represents a gazebo. So let's start with it. Adding text to a closed shape is easy. We'll double click within the shape to begin. The dialog box that popped up is the text editor for Google Drawings. We can enter multiple lines of text or just a few words. In this case, we're creating a label for the gazebo, so let's just type the label. The insertion point is already showing in the text field so we simply need to start typing. If we wanted to enter more than one line, we could do so by pressing Shift plus Enter. However, we're not entering anything else, so we can simply press Enter to confirm the label and close the dialog box. Let's give this a try. See how the label lined up in the center of the shape? Google Drawings does this for us by default. And because we added this text by double-clicking the shape, the text is now part of the shape. Whenever we move the shape, we will move the text as well. Let's make the font a little bigger so that it's easier to read. We can do this with the Font Size button on the toolbar. This font is currently set at 14 point. Let's make it slightly larger at 18 point. Now that we labeled the gazebo, let's add a label to the pond. This time, we can't double click the pond because it wasn't drawn with a shape tool. Instead, it was created with curved lines that were connected into a shape. To add a label to it, we'll need to add a text box on top of it. There are two ways to do this. We can use a command on the Insert menu or a button on the toolbar. Let's use a button. The pond is the blue shape in the upper right corner of the drawing. To draw the text box for the label, we can simply click and drag until the shape reaches the desired size. We've added guide boxes to indicate where to draw the text box. Notice that the text editor immediately opened after we drew the text box, and the insertion point has already been placed within the text field. All that's left to do is to type the label into the field. As we can see, a yellow box appeared around the text. This indicates the size of the text box and lets us know the text box is selected. When we deselect the text box, the yellow lines will disappear. If we wanted to, we could format the border and fill of the text box with any color. However, we'll leave the text box as it is and just change the color of the text.
Let's make the text for the pond label blue. Now that we've seen how to add text to a drawing, we can continue to label all of the other elements in this diagram. If you click Next, we'll add the rest of the labels for you. You've now seen how easy it is to add text to a drawing. Once you type your text, you can change the font size and color, or even add bold or italic formatting. Although we added text as part of a shape and over objects, you can add text to any area of the drawing canvas using text boxes. So you can easily add titles, explanations, or callouts wherever you want them.